praise the Lord. Taking me a little stroll today. I'm gonna get off a little early and go to the Cairo, check out the water taxi. So I'm out here just waiting for my train to leave in about 15 minutes and thought I would drop a line and see whose soul or spirit it was sinking to. You know, when you have finally decided within yourself not to deal with a man or a woman or a marriage or a fisticuffs in a relationship, when you've decided that, you know, enough is enough. I had a partner of mine last week tell me that he had been shattered into a million pieces. And I told him, brother, that just makes you more valuable because now, instead of you just knowing your value, every little piece you were broken up into, every piece is, is valuable now. I mean, if you were just one piece, imagine a diamond being broken up or cut up and sold to many different people. So when you have uh, decided within yourself that you know your value, when you decide within yourself that you know your self-worth, enough is enough. Go on about your business. God's your heart and mind. Somebody is waiting to meet you. Somebody is waiting to meet your healed heart. Somebody is waiting to meet your healed and renewed mind. Somebody is waiting to spend their life with you. And even if, they, even if that someone doesn't come along, recognize and realize your value. All the pain, all the lies, the divorce, the deceit. Uh, the fighting, the libel, the slander, whatever the case may be. Recognize your true worth and true value. That's the L passing by. Give you guys a shot of the L train and Boeing, this Boeing building. Where was I? Yes, recognize your value. Recognize your worth. You know, sometimes emotion and our emotional state and heart can make us make some horrible decisions. Don't allow nobody to come back and forth in your life like a saloon door, or like a welcome mat. You got welcome on your mind and heart, but all they're doing is hurting you. Run, Forrest, run. No, pray. Go on about your business. Take your pain, take your shame, take your insults, take whatever you got to take with you. But make sure you take your mind and heart with you. Forgive, go forward, become a UFO of God. Go upward, go forward, and go onward. Don't take any more abuse. Don't relegate yourself to nothing. And don't delegate yourself to abuse. God bless you and God keep you. It's the ultimate prayer. God change it. God regenerate you. Be ye transformed by the renewal of the mind. Creating me a clean heart and renewing me the right spirit. Let this heart, let this mind be in you also in Christ Jesus. The surgery of God exists. It does. I've been under the knife. I've also been stabbed, cut, and mistreated by human beings. When I was an earthly being having spiritual experiences I didn't understand, I didn't know what to do. But now I'm a spiritual being, and I know what to do about my earthly experiences. God bless you. God keep you. It's my prayer. Know your worth. Know your value. And when you discover your worth and your value, huh, you feel good about yourself. Peace. One.